It's November the 5th. This is the first time we're hunting this setup. And this is only the third or fourth time I've hunted this property since I've gotten permission this year. So everything's new. We're trying to figure out the patterns of the deer. Just check trail cameras on Thursday. And there were some pretty nice bucks, but they were both at night. So let's hope they've started coming out in the daylight and let's hope they make the mistake of walking through here. So we took a minor break earlier and headed up to the truck and we got a call from Matt that he got a buck. And it's been good for us. So this morning we had seen two bucks. Uh, we had headed in for about an hour to get some food and headed back in and it feels good. And I think it's gonna happen tonight, who knows? So early in the season, I was hunting on a property that I obviously had permission on and had the year before, and we didn't see a single deer until we were walking out, and all we see is flags of whitetails in the pasture that abuts the property. Um, so just a shot in the dark, I asked that farmer if I could hunt on that property, um, with a little encouragement from Garrett and lo and behold, he says yes. And our first sit was exactly what you're hoping to expect and not hoping to expect. So last weekend I was hunting with Logan number two and just north of where we're sitting now is where we were at. And when we came out of the field, there was a ton of deer that ran out of this field. So the very first night that Jeff and I sit in a stand, um, and it was early in the night, I see a deer come out and I said, Jeff, there's a buck. And it looked like it had a big body. So we're waiting. I can barely see him at this point. Um, so Jeff said, can see him better than I can. And he says, it's a nice buck and he's broke. So we're just waiting. It feels like eternity. And all I can see is just his antlers as he's feeding through this tall grass. Um, and we're just waiting and waiting. And, but he's working his way towards us. Um, and a doe comes out and she's kind of milling around right in front of us. Uh, the shot that I would be able to have was going to be about 20 yards based off where she was at. Um, so he does come out. Um, and this is the humbling part. So he does come out and he, I range him and he's at like 20, 20 yards and I pull back and my bow gets caught in my bow hook. <laughs> so Jeff unhooks it real quick for me. Um, I lose my shot. He walks out of the field and I am just beat up and he is coming back. Um, Jeff can see him again better than I can, so he's coming back. He's working his way to us, um, steps out in the same spot about 20 yards, and I shoot 
at him this time. Um, and I'm elated. I think that it happened. I mean, um, in the film you'll see, I mean, it's just like as if you think it did happen. And it starts to rain, and then we wait. So it's raining, we're looking, we can find nothing, we don't find any blood. We decide to, to pack out and come in in the morning. We search high and low, we do not find him. Uh, and every single second passes, my heart is sinking, and I'm just kind of questioning myself uh, as a hunter. Um, but the most rewarding part was the fact that I did get him on trail camera several times after that. So he does not look wounded. There's no mark. I basically just hit low. I probably, um, after uh, skinning the deer out later, we basically could see where I would have hit him, which would have been right through just the meat of his um, stomach. So probably just a flesh wound. Um, he made it all through um, shotgun season and actually once during season, as Jeff and I are coming up over the hill, we're face to face with him. So he lives on to the next season. So it is first day of shotgun season. Um, I'm up to bat. I'm actually sitting in the stand that my father usually sits at, which is basically just this huge intersection. Um, and this spot is on fire. I mean, it it's, it's slow at first. We talk about possibly going in for lunch. We decide against it, which I am so happy that we did because basically from the time that we would have been at lunch until sunset, we, there are deer feeding through, but the biggest problem is that they're they're flying through. I mean, anything that we see is basically on a trot. Uh, bucks trailing does, does coming through. Uh, we can see it all distances. So it was the best rut action I have ever experienced in my entire life. So Kayla's filming, and these deer are coming out so fast that basically, like as soon as we see a deer. Our drill was, I would get my gun up and ready. She would just basically record, and we were just going to hope that something would kind of come by, we'd be able to stop it, I'd be able to get a shot, and that would be uh, the situation. So I see this doe come out, and she stops. And I know, by the way she's acting, there's got to be a buck right behind her, and there is a huge buck. But I, all I could see, I mean, I probably saw him for about five seconds as he just runs straight away. So that deer runs off um, and then in comes two bucks. The first one, not a younger buck. The second one, a great buck. And I shoot him, and it was basically just the cap off to an awesome night of hunting. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed our show, and if you're currently watching this on Carbon TV, feel free to go up to the upper left-hand corner of the screen and up our carbon score. That would really help us out a lot. If you're watching this on YouTube, hit that subscribe button, bottom right, it's the big red one. And if you guys have never um, 
followed us on social media before, that's where all of our great photo and short clips are. So definitely check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter because we're constantly updating those sites daily. So um, we really appreciate the support. Thank you.